guys. Moving on. Um, question for you, Waller. If you could go back in time and give your own self an advice, what would you what would you say specifically in regards to music career? I would say not to rush anything. Like if you got a vision, take your time with it because you're not you're not in a comp you're not in like a race life is in a race like you could become successful at 34 you could become successful at 16 it doesn't matter where you become successful you just gotta get yourself on the right pace like you don't gotta drop a song every single day you gotta fucking like make a song that's gonna that's gonna stick around you don't want to make a song that's gonna hear it once and it's like ah, that's cool i ain't never listening to that again you know, yeah. make shit that you're going to put on like three years in time. Like, damn, bro, how did I even think of this back then? Like, this shit is crazy, bro. Like, you need to make songs that are going to last the test of time. That's what yeah. my advice would be to myself. You need to really think about every release and think about if it's up to par with your, with your uh, lyrical abilities. Nice, man. Nice quality over quantity. For sure. Mm -hmm. That's For what's sure. up, man. That's what's up. I really like that. I appreciate you touching on that. And patience, man. Quality over quali qual quantity Definitely. and patience. Uh, gr gr two great points, man. I can talk about those two points forever. But same question to you, Danny. Uh, if you could go back in time and uh, give yourself uh, an advice beginning of your career, how would you, uh, uh, what would you say to align yourself to succeed? Even um. for you. I, to be, yeah, I think about this all the time because sometimes I wish that I started earlier, you know what I'm saying? But um, really? really just dedication, hard work, and just enjoy what you love doing, you know what I'm saying? You can't do something and not enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? It's not, you know, you didn't give it 50%. I want to I wanna give this 110%, you know what I'm saying? So really just hard work, dedication, and really just sacrifice a lot because you're going to have to if you really want certain things, you know what I'm saying? Totally, dude, totally. 100%. Great answer. Commitment. you got to commit to it. Commit yeah. to it. So three things that you guys can get out of this answer is you got to commit to it. you got to be patient. And most importantly, you have to not jeopardize the quality. In fact, you yeah, have to keep adding the quality. You don't need to add too much. Just a little more. Just a little more. Just don't call it. Uh, same thing goes for YouTube. We we do a lot of YouTube tips too because I look at YouTube in a, in a business uh, aspect. Everything I look at as a business. <laughs> it's crazy. In life, I look at everything as business. Like when I go outside. I got to, to. Yeah, when I go outside to shop and stuff, I see the stuff that I sell. I'm like, dude, I know how much I buy this for. <laughs> it's like four times the price. <laughs> and then I'm like, man, this kind of, that's the, and I tell myself, that's the convenience fee. So, yeah yeah exactly yeah, convenience yeah, fee the refrigerator fee there you go there you go commitment dude have a commitment from jeopardize the quality of your videos and be patient i really love that guys we have